Hi, Jim Colt here. I just want to talk uh, uh, one more subject about um, this Maverick CNC uh, cutting table. Um, one of the things that's very important is to ensure that you look into the future when you're when you're buying a CNC cutting table. Uh, don't buy number one. Don't buy just based on price. If you're going to keep one of these tables, uh, I kept my last table in my shop for over 16 years. Uh, you're going to keep it for quite a while. So saving a few dollars at the front end, at the loss of some at the purchase time, with the loss of some performance capabilities or size capability, something along that line, isn't worth it. Uh, you're going to you're going to have to live with that table for a long period of time. So it's kind of like buying a one-ton truck versus a half-ton truck. If you're going to use it with a ton in the back, the half-ton truck's not going to last very long. So the same kind of thing here. This is a five by five table. I really, really could use on occasion a 5x10 table, and there's not that much difference in price for the extra five feet of travel. All the expensive items, the motors, the drives, the computer, the software, are exactly the same on a 5x10 table that they are on a 5x5 on a five five table. So keep that in mind. Um, I have a serious limitation of space in my farm shop here. That's why I'm with the 5x5 five five table. And I'm going to have to suffer every once in a while if I want to cut something big. I may have to leave five feet of the, of the sheet laying, you know, sticking out past the table. And then when I get part of the cutting done, I'll have to index it and move back in. And that certainly can be done, uh, but it's not, not an easy task, not something you want to do on a daily basis. And keep in mind that a five by 10 table is not really a big table. In industry today, there are tables as wide as 50 feet wide by 300 feet long. So think of a large shipyard, a steel service center, something that has to do big steel fabricating. Um, those are pretty common sizes in the high-end industrial machines. When you start, when you're looking at um, uh, light industrial tables like this uh, Maverick CNC machine, um, th these are uh, typically going to be in a smaller shop. They're going to handle plate up to about five by ten. So there are four by eight machines. There are five by five machines. There are five by 10 machines. And there's even a lot of entry level two by two, two by four, and four by four CNC cutting tables. If you're really just at an entry level position, you're doing cutting a part, one part a day or a couple parts a day, maybe a two by two is what you want. Uh, if you're gonna be, uh, if you've got a product or you've, wanna, you've got some heavy uh, products that you wanna do or some larger product, then you might wanna look at uh, something like the Maverick Sanse. This is a this is a, a great value for the money based over time. Uh, it's not one of the cheapest tables on the market, but it's uh, definitely a performer. We can see that already with this new installation. So, so the size of the table is critical. Uh, last but not least, same thing with plasma cutters. Uh, from the Hypertherm line, there's a 45 amp plasma, the PowerMax 45 XP. There's the 65 amp, the 85 amp the 105 amp and a 125 amp uh, air. These are in the air plasma lines. Beyond that, you can go up to uh, 800 amp plasma cutting machines if you've got to cut some six inch stainless steel. You're not going to do that on a Maverick CNC table though. So a so lot, of, lot of choices out there. Uh, let the experts help you make the right ones. The experts at Maverick CNC can help you out with the correct choices for plasma, cutting table size, and, uh, and getting your pricing that's uh, to a point where, it's, uh, where it makes sense. Okay, thank you very much.